Hi everyone and welcome to this new Mac 3D video. Today we're looking at a feature that's often overlooked and yet really powerful. It's how to record macros to automate your workflows. Let's jump right ahead and look at the example that we will be building today. So all the files for this uh, tutorial are available and you can download them at the link below. So what we'll do is we'll record a macro where we raise a dam to a specific elevation and using a dam template for an upstream construction. Then we will fill it up with tailings and we'll do a bit of visualization on it to take a snapshot of it. And then we'll just loop it for different elevations and keep raising the dam until at the end we do a small animation just to create a small gif uh, of the raising of the dam. Here we go. Okay, so how did we get there? Our starting point will be in this folder called 105 that we can set up as a starting working directory and we've got a startup dam that we've raised to 105 and it's already been filled with tailings and we'll go ahead and um, start do the recording. So macros is really a simple way of recording a series of actions that you will do in Mac 3D and it will automatically generate a Python script. So make sure that you have 105 as your working directory and then we'll start recording all of our actions. So first action, we will do a new deposition run. This will create a new folder. We will call it 110. It will be our raise elevation. Next step, we will raise the dam 210 meters. So make sure that you put it the raise at 110 meters and you take your uh, grid from the last deposition run, which is from 105. And we will make sure to generate discharge points. Once we raise the dam, we will do a deposition run. We'll use a single stream deposition, fixed pond volume as drawn. Make sure to pick up your grid from the dam that you just raised at the discharge points that have been automatically generated. And then for the pond, we'll use a pond of 200,000 cubic meters. Maximum containment elevation at 110 meters, which is our raise. And then we don't know what elevation, we'll use 105 for the pond and it will automatically search for what is the correct elevation to make the 200,000 cubic meters. Once we are done with the deposition run, we can just clear the graphics and stop the recording of the macro. So a Python script has been generated and it contains all the comments that we have recorded. We really recommend that you use a text editor or an IDE that does syntax highlighting. It's a lot easier to read your script. So as you can see, the script contains all the comments together with the inputs for each of the comments. And so the step that we'll do now is we will create a loop um, so that we can actually iterate for different elevations. We'll create a list, a list of elevations um, from 110 to 120 meters and we'll create a loop. So the loop will be for each elevation that we have within our list of elevations. And we'll take all the comments and just indent them so that it is part of the loop and then we'll change each of the values. So when we create a new folder, we will use this variable elevation to actually create this new folder. Then we're raising the dam, we will raise the dam using the same variable of elevation. We also need to choose the grid from the previous deposition run. So we'll create like a previous elevation variable that will start at 105. Um, and we'll make sure at the end of this loop that we'll change it to a new elevation. So we'll just use a inserter to actually insert it inside of this string. The next thing is to change the elevation for uh, the maximum pond elevation for the deposition run. We will also change the elevation for uh, the pond startup guess. And then at the end, when we clear the graphics, make sure to change it to true. And at the end, we just change the previous elevation to this elevation that we had in our loop. So now to run your script, make sure that 105 is your working directory and just drag and drop your Python script inside of your graphical panel and it will start running. We'll just fast forward it. That's it, the model is run. So now we will set our demo scripting folder as our working directory and we will load all our output grids. We'll do a cross section across the dam. And this is just a way of checking that the script did what we intended it to do. So let's plot the cross section and we can see that we did the deposition correctly according to the upstream deposition. Now we might want to add additional comments to that script. So what we can do is we can just record an additional comment 
So we'll go back to the folder that we had earlier on and we'll call a new script. Uh, this one will be called script edition and we'll start by editing the texture. So to edit the texture, we'll select the image that we want to edit, which is from the previous race, and we'll create a new image, we'll give it a name, and uh, we'll use the footprint of the dam that we've raised. Additionally, we'll use the tailings outline from the deposition run that we just did, and it will create a new image that will drape on top of our uh, grid, and then we'll select a different view, and we'll just save an image for that. And once we're happy with those, we'll just press stop and stop the recording of the micro. So now we can copy paste this new script that we've recorded and we copy it in the original script, staging them and just like copy it at the end of your loop and we'll just make sure to indent it so that it is part of the loop. And now same thing again, we'll just edit it so that we can actually have the elevations to be represented inside of our script for each of the loops. Once we're done, just clear your graphics put one of five as your starting directory and then just run your script. And that's it for recording macros. You can go ahead and add an animation at the end from the images that you saved using create animation from images. See you next time. Shop shop.